Welcome to week four of Discipling and Mentoring. This week our focus will be on developing maturity, which goes hand in hand with discipling. I think that's an obvious connection. Now, here's the thought though I want to challenge you with as we begin this week, is that there is no such thing as generic maturity. Uh, each of us are unique individuals. Uh, we are following God as closely as we can, but still our individual uh, strengths and weaknesses come to play, especially as we think about maturity. And the reason I want to challenge you with this is that as you read through Sanders, you will read uh, several lists of things that go into maturity, and they're all accurate. They all do go into maturity. You want to make note of them in the answers at the uh, end of the question, end of the chapters that you write. However, there will be some point this week that you'll read something that will be pivotal to your next step in maturity. It might not be pivotal to anyone else's step, uh, but it'll be pivotal to your next step in maturity. Um, so we want to be constantly looking in our Christian lives at, uh, God, where is the next step you want to take me in maturity? What is the weakness I need to overcome? What is uh, the area where I need to strengthen? And so as you read through, uh, be giving the Holy Spirit the chance to say, oh, wait a minute, here's the spot. Uh, where this is no longer a generic discussion about maturity in general, but it's about your maturity. I know as I read through this week, I was really challenged with the, the parts about um, accepting suffering as um, the way to growing in our walk with the Lord. I've, I kind of slipped away from that, and I was challenged to say, you know, rather than seeing suffering as something to get beyond or to resist or to avoid, when it comes into my life, I need to embrace it as the best opportunity I have to develop as a Christian disciple. By the way, when I talk about there is no generic maturity, I mean that's true for you, but it's also true for those that you disciple. Uh, for those you, you, you disciple, you want to do a comprehensive job of laying out everything it means to be a disciple, but you also want to help that person listen to the Holy Spirit and together, perhaps, the two of you can listen to say, where is the next um, spot of Christian maturity that needs to be developed in the life of that person? So we don't just teach discipling in terms of a comprehensive curriculum. We teach maturity and discipling in the terms of each person that we work with. We give them the opportunity to learn what it is that God is saying to them today and where God's desire is to give them new growth through His Spirit, but also through our concentrated effort. Well, I look forward to your posts. You're doing a tremendous job. I'm just so impressed, and every time I get a chance, I, I brag on you all. Um, I don't betray any confidences, uh, but I do say as, as a group, this is a stellar group of disciples who are learning how to grow in the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.